Today let's learn about implementing social sharing inside our application. Please visit the previous tutorial before watching this one. We have created a basic tabbed ionic project for this video tutorial. This is our application folder and these are the default plugins our application uses. Let me open our templates directory and dashboard file. Let's check the plugin once again. Ionic plugin list. So we do not have social sharing plugin installed yet. Let's launch our application in the browser, the basic application. Let's implement social sharing feature at the bottom of this dashboard page. I have already opened tab dash.html page. Let me install the social sharing plugin first cordova plugin add space plugin name if you want to remove existing plugin then use rm space existing plugin name in this case i'll be adding cordova plugin x social sharing plugin Within few seconds, it will be installed onto our project's plugin directory and it's installed. Let's check the plugin list and it's here. Okay, net, let's open our tab dash file and before closing ion content, let's write a card with item this is just to implement those social sharing buttons let's have a light colored button here and let's let's add an icon here let's insert an icon we have a cl class called icon and a subclass called ion social iPhone WhatsApp. I'll show you on the browser. Let me run the application now. So at the bottom here we have WhatsApp icon. I'll similarly I'll add Facebook icon. Let me show you on the browser here next the Twitter next I'll show you some uh, Android SMS icon here ion Android iPhone text SMS uh, next let us put iOS styled email icon here using this class ion iOS email Well, let us make spacing look consistent using Ionic Grid system. You can visit the link shown on the screen to know more about Ionic Grid system. It's a tutorial where I explain about Ionic Grid system in detail. Now, these, these icons doesn't do anything upon click now let me implement the functionality i'll open controller.js our controller file and create a controller called social s o c i a l social inside that i'll have a function called share which takes a parameter that is let me have a target I'll specify it with the word T if it's W I'll invoke the WhatsApp application for that I'll have to make use of the object given by social sharing plugin window.plugins.socialsharing.share via WhatsApp which takes three parameters the message and an image 
and a link the image must be stored locally and not present in a remote location to invoke that function i'll call that share function upon click event since it is whatsapp i'll send w here once it matches w it invokes whatsapp application so let me pass in a message i'll type hey i'm ionic i'll leave this second parameter empty to know how to share images please visit the link shown on the screen right now i'll be implementing the tutorial and shortly and posting the link there the third parameter is the link so let me match the parameters to this function too that's it i need to implement the same thing for all these social sharing icons i have left this image parameter empty for now please visit the link shown on you on your screen to know more about sharing an image i'll be sharing the tutorial on that page shortly so for f it's facebook for t it's twitter twitter for sms you know it's sm uh somebody has clicked on sms icon share via email which takes three parameters that is two subject and message we could leave that two empty because once the sms uh, that is email client is launched you could manually type that two address you could give anything for subject here yeah. for complete implementation of all these social sharing platforms please visit the link i am showing on the screen right now i'll implement the same for facebook for facebook it's ef so once you click on facebook icon it launches the facebook app present on your device if it's present on your device well share via sms takes two parameters the first one is message and the second one is to to whom it must be delivered i'll leave this two field empty because once the sms app is launched we could select the two address that is the number manually there you could see complete implementation on our blog the link to which was shown previously to you on the on your computer screen and a small mistake here window dot plugins dot social sharing let me run let me run the application on my real device that is nexus 5 to know how to run your application on emulator or the real device please visit the link present on your screen right now so it built the application successfully and and it is installing on my nexus 5 device right now so this is our application scroll down i'll press this whatsapp icon we have implemented it and it opens my whatsapp if i select to whom it must be posted it gets filled up the message and the link got filled up that's it you could implement the same for facebook twitter sms as well as email complete implementation code is present on the blog the link to which is present in the description section of this youtube video please share this video with your friends on facebook linkedin twitter stumble upon google plus etc and make sure to like this video on youtube thank you